Hi, violin students. I'm making this video for you this week to teach some beginning note reading. So this is really for my book one students. And when you're in the first half of book one, you don't normally learn your songs by opening your book and reading the notes, right? You learn by doing your listening, um, copying, you know, what I say or learning finger numbers and things like that. But eventually we want to translate all that into the notes on the page. And then that's one more way that you have that you can learn your new songs. Okay, so I'm gonna make this as short as possible and as simple as possible. Um, so I'll begin by saying this. To read music, you first need this. This is called a staff and it's made up of these five lines which then create in between four spaces. So a pretty quick way of describing the musical staff is to say five lines and four spaces. We can also have notes that go below and above the staff, um, which you'll see a little bit in a minute here. Okay, so we definitely need the staff when we're going to write music. And the other thing that's very essential for us is this symbol. And we call that a treble clef. A treble clef indicates that this music is going to be played by a high pitched or a high sounding instrument, which we are as violins. Another example of an instrument that plays using the treble clef would be a flute or a trumpet. And instruments that don't use the treble clef or are lower sounding would be something like the cello or the trombone. Okay, so we have two very essential things to begin writing or reading um, music for violin. We have our staff and we have our treble clef. All right. What I'm going to show you now is the A scale that you've been playing all along, and I'm going to show you what it looks like written out as music notes. The type of note that I'll be using is the quarter note, which is the black dot with this line that we call, we call a stem, okay? It doesn't really matter for this video what kind of note we're using, just so that it's in the right place on the staff. And you can see as I write these notes, as the notes get higher on the staff, the black dots are getting higher, the stems come down. And that's just a way of writing when we write music, it keeps everything kind of tidy and going toward toward the middle instead of, you know, stems that go way up high. I'm about to run out of staff space, but this is the last note. I write an extra line for it and I'll tell you why in a minute. Okay, any line in any space on the staff can indicate a note. It does indicate a single note. Right here we have the second space from the bottom. That is A. Our A string makes that note. And I'm going to write a zero here because we also think of it as open A or no fingers. This, this note that goes through the middle line is called B and we've been calling it all along first finger on A string. This note is C sharp. So we're going to write this symbol here and that second finger on A. Now, why is that a C sharp and why aren't these sharp or something like that? Well, eventually you will learn all of that, but for now I tell students as they learn the A scale, um, it's called C sharp. You'll learn why later. Eventually you will learn and it will make sense but second finger on A, so that would be your second finger tape on A string is called C sharp. Then we have D, and that's third finger on A, and I think by now you're probably guessing, which you may already know, um, all of our notes on the staff have alphabet letter names, but we'll see how far that alphabet goes. The next note is E, and that's zero fingers or open E string. 
F sharp, there's another sharp, is first finger on E string. Then we have G sharp, second finger, and that's on E string. And finally, we have third finger on A string. What do you think that note is called? Is it called H? No, it's not. It's called A. So the musical alphabet just has seven letters. And the cool thing is there really is no beginning and no end to our musical scale. I mean, our I'm sorry, our musical alphabet, A through G, because we don't have to start on A. When you get to the D scale, you'll know that our scale starts on D. Um, so when we use up all the letters A through G, we just start over with A, okay? And these are the corresponding finger numbers, and I'll do this, A string, E string. So all the notes that we play on the violin and all the notes that you play in music in general have an alphabet letter name going only A through G. Then on the violin, we also want to correspond that to what finger we play to get those notes. A, open A, no fingers, A string, first finger is called B, and so on. Okay? Um, so I think what I'm going to do now is pause the video, erase all this, and then I'm going to give you a little quiz that, and you can send me your, your answer to the quiz. Okay, here's your quiz. I have no idea if this is going to be very hard or very easy, but I've written some of the notes that I just taught you in this video and I've the quiz is this. I want you to look at these notes or even try to play them and then you tell me what this song is. It's a part of a song. It's the beginning of a song that you know. So I'd like you to tell me what song that is. Let me know your answer and I'll be talking to you soon.